Hey guys, it's Zekin, and so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a geodesic-ish kind of dome in Planet 2. So I broke it down into 10 steps, so let's get on with it. First you want to get the hexagon bubble piece and use the advanced move tool by hitting X on your keyboard to place it. By the way, you can do this with any of the different hexagon glass pieces. Then you're going to want to grab another hexagon bubble piece and turn on the position snap as well as the position snap rotation. After that's done, you'll snap the piece to one of the sides of the other one. Next, you're going to select the attached bubble piece, then hit X twice on your keyboard to get the advanced rotation. For this one in particular, I'm going to turn on the angle snap so you can easily follow along. So you're going to want to turn that piece down by 15 degrees, which it easily snaps to in this case. Then you repeat that till you get a nice curve. Next you want to repeat that for the opposite side or you can just select everything while leaving the first hexagon unselected, duplicate it and by clicking Ctrl X and turn it to the opposite side. Then again, you want to just select everything you just did with angle snap on and while leaving the first hexagon unselected, duplicate it and turn it to the side. After all that's done, you should get something that looks like this. Okay, so this part is a little bit tricky, but stick with me. You're going to select these three top hexagons over here, then duplicate them and move them down like this so it aligns with the surrounding hexagons. This must align well or else it will mess up the whole dome. After you then delete these two hexagon pieces, you grab another hexagon bubble piece and position snap it to the hexagon over here. Hit X to adjust the piece so it aligns well with the surrounding hexagons. Move it a little so that the frame merges like so. Then you repeat this down and on the other side as well. Make sure you line the piece as well as best as you can or else you'll be left with unwanted overlaps and holes. When that's done, you'll be left with an oddly shaped hole like this. To cover it up, you're going to first grab a hexagon bubble piece, snap it to the hexagon over here like so. Hit X to adjust the piece so it aligns with the surrounding hexagons. Move it a little so that the frame merges like so, then do this for the other side. We're going to cover up this hole by selecting a pentagon piece, then snapping it to one of these hexagons. Make sure it doesn't snap to these bottom ones over here. Then adjust the piece so it aligns well with surrounding hexagons. Then you cover this hole by grabbing another pentagon bubble piece and snap it to the hexagon over here. Hit X to adjust the piece so it aligns well with the surrounding hexagons. Move it a little so the frame merges like so. Then you do this for the other side. Once that's all done, it should look like this. Oh, and don't forget to delete those ones on the other side. Then you select everything you just selected with angle snap on and while leaving the first hexagon unselected, duplicate it by hitting Ctrl X and turn it by 180 degrees and move it to the opposite side. Then you delete a line of hexagons at the edge and do the same for the opposite side. Then for the last time, you select everything you just did with angle snap on while leaving the first hexagons unselected, duplicate it twice and by clicking Ctrl X and turn it by 60 degrees each time you duplicate. Now you should be left with a geodesic-ish looking dome like this. If you don't like the ones that overlap on this one, you can just simply replace it with the opaque bubble pieces and you'll be fine. But if you don't mind overlapping, that's okay too. If you want to make bigger domes, all you have to do is just to decrease the starting angle, then duplicate it and try to align the top one as perfectly as possible with the bottom one and then repeat this until you get a nice curve because in the circle the smaller the exterior angle the bigger the circle and then you can just apply the steps i just mentioned one other thing to know is that remember to only snap the pieces to the hexagons along the edges so you can get really accurate results so yeah you'll also have to repeat the steps more and also you'll have to fill in some of the gaps too so that's coming up with creative ways to fill in the gaps the reason why i call this video like a geodesic ish kind of dome is because with the pieces we have in game 
you can get a perfectly geodesic dome because you need different sizes and different uh, measurements of hexagons and pentagons but with this method you get the least amount of overlaps in in the dome so the only amount of overlaps you have is in the middle of the uh triangles so they, those are the only points that overlap but apart from that the dome is pretty much okay so yeah um if you're still having troubles trying to build the dome and you don't have time to do it i will leave links in the description to domes i've already made so you guys can go um use it for your own parks so go check it out so pretty much that's all i have for you guys today um if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and when you subscribe be sure to turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever i post anything new and so yeah see you later guys and until then bye for now